Hello everyone. Thank you so much for your interest in Real Fast Library Marketing. On the webinar last week, Daniel and I had a blast talking to you all. There were so many terrific questions that I thought I would address some of them here. We've put together this very short video tutorial to show you how you can reach out to a librarian using email. A number of the questions were from people either overseas or who were not as comfortable on the phone and wanted to know, can I reach out to a librarian on email? The answer is yes, of course you can. The librarians that I know, most of them prefer email. They don't want to spend time on the phone. So here is a very short, quick rundown on how you can reach out to a librarian using email. The first rule, and the first thing I'd like you to keep in mind, is that you only have a few moments to convince a librarian to move forward with your email. If they get a long email packed with a bunch of text, they're going to read the first line, their eyes are going to glaze over, they're going to move on. They don't have time. So what I'm going to show you here is exactly how to impress a librarian from the very first line and get them to engage with you, get them to respond. The way to get a librarian to respond to your email starts with understanding the librarian's goals. Librarians actually have bosses, just like the rest of us do, and they have goals that they need to accomplish. The first goal for any librarian who's deciding whether or not to bring in a book is their goal is they need to acquire books that their patrons want. They need to increase their traffic. A librarian that increases traffic in their location is considered a successful librarian. They need to stay in budget. They, just like us, they've got money woes and they've got budgets that they have to pay attention to. And they need to serve their community. You will notice that any library out there, the big difference between a library and a bookstore is the huge amount of community activities that take place in there. So this is what they're going to want to see in an email from you. First off, they want to see that you understand their goals. Are you discussing their budgets? Are you talking about their timing? Are you talking about increasing their traffic and giving them books that will be the types of books that their patrons want? Do you offer ease of ordering? Are your books available at the wholesalers that they use? Are your books available at terms that they need? Again, keep in mind, they've got budgets and they've got bosses. And will your book satisfy these goals? We're going to walk through an email right now, you and me, that covers all of their goals and covers all of these elements. So how do you start an email like this? Well, you start by getting the name of the acquisition librarian. A lot of them are in the databases that are part of our course, but a lot of them, if you're going to drill down, you're going to need to either pick up the phone or drop an email or even visit their website and get the name of the librarian that's responsible for acquiring your sorts of books. A library that I called today for my reference book, her name was Ellen. So I would start out by saying, Dear Ellen, my name is Amy Collins. I'm the author of a reference book that I was hoping you'd consider stocking in your library as a print book and an ebook. We're about to launch a marketing campaign in your area. Now, guys, this, all these caps here, this is where you fill in what you're going to do. In the particular area that Ellen's library is in, I'm going to be doing radio interviews and contacting local papers. So my email would say, we're about to launch a marketing campaign in your area that includes radio as well as a number of articles in the local newspapers. I'm contacting libraries in your area to let them know that there'll be some demand during and after this campaign. The name of my book and the ISBN, make it easy for them is a book that will help authors and small presses get their book into libraries. Keep it short, guys. When you describe to them what your book's about, keep it very, very short. You will notice that the market research that is in our course covers this. So if you do not know how to say in one quick, pithy sentence exactly what your book is about, we actually help you with that in this course. Once the marketing campaign begins, we're going to be directing readers to the libraries that agree to stock it. So if you're willing, I'd like to send you a PDF or a print copy for you to review. Another question that comes up, do I always have to send a hard printed copy of my book? No, no you don't. A lot of libraries are fine with a PDF. A lot of libraries will make the decision without even seeing the PDF. But if a librarian needs a print copy of your book, don't argue with them. Send it to them. It's worth it. Nothing sells a book like a book, guys. This is where you put again, the name of my book is available 
from and list the wholesalers where your book's available. If you've gone print on demand, you can easily say Baker and Taylor and Ingram. There's other wholesalers that perhaps you've reached out to before the library campaign. We list those in the course. Follett's unique. Cover all of the wholesalers where your book can be found in print format. And then you say it's at fully returnable at the full discount. And then say the ebook is available for licensing from and list those wholesalers. Are you at Overdrive? Are you at 3M? Are you at ProQuest? If you went through Smashwords, the answer is a long list. List them all. Don't be shy. I have attached the marketing plan and an informational sheet for you to glance at before the print copy arrives. Please give me a call or just reply with a quick note that it's okay to send, and I will get you that PDF or that book right away, and then sign it. What you're trying to do is just get them to engage with you. If they respond to this email saying, sure, send me a copy, here's my address, or I'd love a PDF, you've gotten them to start the conversation with you, and that is fantastic. Only attach PDFs to your email. Word documents, Excel sheets, no one's going to open those. There's too much chance of there being viruses in them. And so the two things that I would attach to my email would be a one-page sheet talking about my marketing plans. Remember I said that my marketing plan included radio stations and newspapers? Well, there's more to it. I'm also going out every day and I'm getting a few reviews. I'm talking to bloggers. I'm doing guest posts. I am, I'm reaching out on a regular basis and writing articles for newsletters. Perhaps the library would be interested in seeing that. Include that in your one-page marketing plan. These marketing plans, these templates, and these ideas are also included in the Real Fast Library Marketing course. All of them are there. So if you don't know or if you don't have these, our course covers that. Don't worry, guys. And a one-page book information sheet. Don't know how to do this? Don't know what it's supposed to look like? Don't worry about that. It's covered in our course. We actually give you a template and we walk you through it step by step. It only takes a few moments to create one. So in the end, our job when we send an email is to help the librarian say yes to our books. That's what we're going for. We should mention right away that the book is at full discount and is fully returnable. Even though libraries don't return books, they buy on returnable terms. So make sure that your book is fully returnable. The materials presented should be attached in PDFs, not Word documents or any other format. Your cover letter email and attachments should be easy to read and not packed with text. Guys, did you see how much white space was in my email and in my letter? We are a magazine culture now. We are used to seeing things with lots of white space. Please do not overwhelm the librarian with a whole bunch of text. And everything you send them should be focused on how to help them with their goals. If you send them an email telling them that you understand their goals and that you believe your book will help them achieve that, that is the email that will allow you to grow your sales exponentially. That is the focus, and that is why we're doing Real Fast Library Marketing, to help us help you with your goals. I've really enjoyed speaking with all of you and answering your questions. I look forward to interacting with all of you in the members section of Real Fast Library Marketing, and I wish you the best of luck as you move forward in this new part of your book sales.